exactly what TV. I celebrate holidays every day on YouTube. For example, today is National High Five Day. Yes, so I want everybody to celebrate right now high and high five your neighbors. High Give me a high five. five. What's up? That wasn't a good one. What's oh, up? What's up? What's yeah. up? All right, so curious, are there any atheists in the house tonight? Oh, oh my god, like, is everybody an atheist? That's so, that's, what does that say about downtown Hong Kong? <laughs> that's interesting. Um, well, today is National Ask an Atheist Day. This was a, this is, today was uh, started by secular groups to sort of uh, bridge conversation between those who believe and those who don't believe. So I'm just going to ask an atheist a question. Dylan, you said you're an atheist? No. Uh, you're agnostic. Today is. Yeah, yes. You in the back, right? What's your name? Bob. Bob, Bob, talk to me. I'm going to ask you a question here. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite sitcom? Because that's relevant, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have no idea. He has no idea. Okay. Uh, you can think about that. Suze, you're an atheist. Yeah. What's your favorite sitcom? Ozzy shows. Ozzy shows. Like Ozzy, is that Ozzy and Harriet, or is that like Ozzy, the singer crazy guy with like, like, like Australian Aus sitcoms? Oh, Australian, so yeah, that's not relevant to us. Okay, we're gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> uh, high so, five. Yeah, high five. That was good. Like, good. So, can anyone guess uh, what mammal comes out of hibernating today? A mammal comes out of hibernating about this time of year? Bears. What? Bear dribble. Bears. No, bear dribble, no. The bat! Yes, the bat! That is why today is National Bat Awareness Day. Yes, yes which is really yes. exciting. Uh, did you guys know, fun factoid for you, that uh, one bat alone, just one, is responsible for eating 5,000 insects a day. Yes, so they really help control the environment, and uh, they save the agricultural industry $23 billion a year, the bats. Let's give it up for the bats. Yeah. Rachel's Kitchen. Woo! Yay, yeah. 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 right. yeah. good. What's your name over there? I saw you raise your hand. Ray. Ray, what's your favorite thing at Rachel's Kitchen? Do you know? Uh, I, I don't remember. It was a salad. Some, it was good salad. Oh, that was great. Yeah? Anyone Thank else? You. You've been there? No? You? Yeah, sure. Curry chicken. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Good Rachel one. It's well, popular. This here is Kathy, co-owner of Rachel's Kitchen. Just had the one year anniversary. That's a great yeah. 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 So, by the way, third time sponsoring us downtown Boston. That's right. That's, that's a lot of yeah. support. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, so to celebrate your one year anniversary, you're opening up a brand new location. Tell them a little bit about that. Yes, we are. At the end of this month, we're going to be opening up on the campus of the Cleveland Clinic, Lou Ruvo Brain Center for Health at Bonneville and um, Grand Central Parkway. It's going to be a new concept for us. It's a grab and go. Uh, we'll be serving a limited menu of our salads, our sandwiches, wraps. Uh, we'll be making our fresh juices, smoothies, coffee drinks. So we are so excited. Thank you. Is that like in the middle of the campus or something? It is. It's a little cafe dead center in the middle of the campus. Uh, it's all outdoor seating. You'll walk up to a window, place your order, take your food, seat. Um, Parking is phenomenal there. It's free parking all over the campus. So we, we hope you come check us out. Yes, we certainly will. Now this is a brain clinic and April is sandwiched in between two months. We got we got March, which is National Brain Awareness Month, and then we have May, which is uh, National Mental Health Month. So that really resonates with not just the clinic though, but with you on a very personal level and partly why you're opening up this new grab and go at this location. Would you mind sharing with them? Yeah, thank you so much. My father passed away in 2005 of dementia and Alzheimer's. The clinic opened up in 2009 and I, I just look at how his life could have been so much better and, and, and he could have lived a happier, longer life with a clinic like this. That, um, that he would have been able to have access to. So it was um, a very natural progression in my life to be able to do something on a campus like that. That's really beautiful. And I feel like his memory and spirit will be there every day be. to grab and go. That's, yes. that's really nice. Well, thank you so much for sharing your openness and, you. and, and this new location. I'm excited about it. We're all going to go, right? We're all going to go. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh, well, again, on that holiday, happy holidays. Thank you so much.